Welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look at day two of the Women's World Championship happening in Utica, USA. So hop right into it today with the scores from today's games. Starting off with a pretty big upset when we have China beating Japan 3-2 in a shootout. Now this game was one of those games where, you know, Japan dominated from start to finish. And it was pretty well established that, you know... Japan should have been the team that won today's game, but the nice thing about the way China plays and the nice way the way that Japan plays is both teams are going to keep it close regardless because they don't have that firepower to, you know, when you look at it with like teams like the U.S. and Canada, they're just going to blow you out. At the end of the day, these two teams are always going to be keeping it close, and when you have that kind of game... It's really anybody's game, no matter what the shot totals are. This one, 3-2 is your finals. 2-2, uh, basically what happened, you know, Japan went up 1-0. China bounced back. 2-1 for Japan, 2-2. And then, of course, in the overtime and the shootout. But one of the things I really want to draw attention to here is that China played very differently when it came to 5-on-5 five -five regulation. And then when they moved on to, you know, your more special teams when you want to call it that in your shootouts when they sort of been one-on-one -on -one with the goalie or they had the extra attacker that's when they really found their way and they're a dangerous team they really pass that puck around with some with some vigor whereas in any other case that five on five they just looked fearful so one of the things i'll really draw attention to especially in group b is if you're going to play a team like china sweden will play them tomorrow to be very 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 careful with taking some bad penalties because they have a solid power play and it's just a matter of if, if you know they can capitalize on it and they capitalized once today it looked really good on their other attempts so you got to be really careful with that as for japan dominant effort all day today if they can keep that going there's no reason why they can't obviously they're not a team that's going to blow out teams unfortunately for them they just got paired up against a bad opponent and we'll sort of talk about that a little bit more today as we move along here but move on to the second game here with germany against denmark and we sort of talked about this yesterday denmark was a team that got blown out pretty badly yesterday outplayed however you want to call it against the swedes and so they came in and there was like okay they might have a shot against germany depends on how they start and they looked about as flat as can be you know it's it's one of those games where it was ugh, like you know it, like it should have been denmark should have came out guns a blazing you know they they came off a bad loss a lot like the Finns, you know just coming out guns a blazing and it just wasn't there tonight germany dominated from start to finish five ones your final a late goal wasn't really any point for the den for for denmark to really be in that game at all you could tell from the very puck drop the only thing keeping it in was their goaltender who was on fire tonight uh but unfortunately for them you know it's just denmark couldn't quite find their way germany played a heck of a game today earned every all three points of what they got and you know at the end of the day that's what's gonna what's gonna be right if you're gonna want to win a game against a team you got to show up unfortunately for Denmark they didn't Germany showed up all three periods took the game by the by the reins and that was that was your end result lastly we'll take a look at the last game of the day and this one was a really really good game it should not have been this good but it was 4-1 Canada over Finland and this game you know it was right nice and tight you know right up to the very end anybody could have taken and there's a bad penalty taken with about four minutes left that knocked finland out of it but at the same time you know finland plays a very trap style defense and when we see teams play trap styles we talked about japan and china they're going to keep that game close capitalize on any mistakes canada made quite a few mistakes i might add so when you look at it you know when they play a team like the czechs we saw the czechs knock finland off for nothing they have to be very careful because the Czechs have shown that they have the ability to score off mistakes. Finns were a little bit there today. They had some moments. They had some worse moments. But at the end of the day, if you're going to play like that, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to they're going to capitalize on it. And that's the one thing I'll say about Canada. They have to be very careful as well as very disciplined. There were quite a few penalties in that game. Just be careful, especially as you play some of the other teams. You don't want to give them momentum where there isn't any. For Finland, they played a great game today. Kept it close with a team like Canada. You know, they had a rough game yesterday. We talked about it in the in that recap video. But whether or not they're going to come out guns blazing, they did today. And that's what you're looking for out of Finland. So they played really well today. It's just a matter of if they can keep it going. We'll take now a look at the news from today with Upset Central, with China beating Japan. Definitely an upset. I didn't predict it myself. 
I assumed it'd be a close game, but I thought Japan would come on top as shown by the dominant effort. But as soon as it went to overtime, as soon as it went to that shootout, I knew China had it just the way they've, they were playing, just the way they were passing that puck around, just going to come down to that. And at the end of the day, China with the upset over Japan, for Japan, they just lack that finish. You know, it, it's a tough sort of realm for them. They're not necessarily known for their goal scoring. They're known for their effort. They played a dominant game all throughout all four four periods with the overtime. Just fell a little bit short in that finish. As for Denmark today, we said yesterday, it can only go up. It can only go up. It didn't go up. It, it kind of went down a little bit for them. For Germany, a solid win. As for the Finns, it's a trap. Yes, Star Wars nerd. You know, it's a trap. But at the same time, you know, the Finns play a great trap style. Czechs are going to play another great trap style. So what I will recommend you uh, just do is just take a look at what they do. You know, what they'll do is they'll box out that middle of the ice, make it so that any mistake they make, any mistake their opponent makes is going to get capitalized on. That's what the Finns do. That's what the Czechs do. That's what a lot of the best teams will do at this tournament, especially against the teams where they, they can't match up skill on skill. With Canada and the U.S., you know, you're not going to match up skill with them, but where you do have is in that tactical superiority, and that's where sort of that team buy-in comes in from the Czechs and the Finns. As for Canada, they did pick up their 100th Women's World Championship win. The U.S. picked it up yesterday, so Big accomplishment. It's uh, it's obviously a, a pretty big thing. So congrats to Canada, congrats to the U.S. yesterday. We didn't touch on it, but same time, both teams picked up their 100th World, Women's World Championship win. So big deal there. When I'll take a look at the standings with in Group A, we have the U.S., Czechs, and Canada all tied in, for, with, in first place with three points each, one regulation win. As for Switzerland, they are in second last, you know, fourth place with one regulation loss finland with two regulation losses just the way the calendar works out as of right now that'll change as for group b we have sweden in first and germany in first both teams tied with three points each china in, in third place with one overtime win remember you the way it works is in the european scoring systems where it's three points for a, for a regulation win two points for an overtime win one point for an overtime loss and zero points for a regulation loss uh just so japan uh, picks up the regulation loss and they will have one point or sorry the overtime loss rather with one point and then lastly Denmark with two regulation losses they'll be in last place remember in group b the bottom two teams are relegated regardless of the there's no game played like in other tournaments it's if you're in the bottom two you're gone for the tournament so make sure to try and stay above that as well as we sort of talk back to what we said in the preview top six teams at the end of this tournament the final rankings will make it on to the, Olymp to the olympics so being in that top seed is very very important in group b because if we look at it five in group a one in group b there's some potential for some other crazy stuff but we'll cross that bridge when we get there now we'll take a look at the schedule for tomorrow Coming up at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we have Sweden and China. This game, I have, I have a feeling that it'll be a little bit more of a blowout. We just sort of saw the way Japan dominated play today. Sweden has that goal touch, that, that, that finishing touch where, you know, Japan didn't quite have it. So I think that game will be a little bit more of a blowout. As well as Canada and Switzerland coming up at 3 p.m. That's another decent game i expect canada to dominate normally swiss don't really have that sort of ability to trap in canada or the u.s we'll see if they do but as well this is a probably the game of the day here my opinion 7 p.m eastern daylight time you have the checks and you have the u.s and we'll talk about this in just a second why but when we look at it you know the Finns are a team that are really solid right and then they and they got beat by the checks they play the same sort of style of play but at the end of the day, the fin the Czechs beat the Finns. Czechs play the US, and we'll pull it up here. We had we have a Twitter page, so be sure to go follow it. We'll drop the link down. It's on the fly 1515. But we also have questions that we sort of send out at the start of all these recap videos. So be sure to, to sort of drop a comment if you have a question, if you want to sort of just say something about the games, we'll show them. Uh, for this one, we have Mo Gridiron Geek who says it says a lot about Team Czechia that Finland wasn't dominated quite as badly as Canada today. And to this, I might also add, remember, so when the Czechs and the Finns, they play similar styles of game, which means they're both trying to capitalize off each other's sort of mistakes, where Canada is just sort of a team that's going to overpower you. The difference between Canada and uh, the, sorry, Czechia and the Finns is when we look at it, you know, they're playing the same game. They're both trying to capitalize off each other's mistakes. So it's going to be a little bit more tight checking, whereas Canada is just going to try and kill you right, right away. When that's how all the mistakes could happen. That's how Finland pounces. That's how Finland gets all their odd man rushes. So at the end of the day, that's one of the things I'm really looking for, looking for in, in this 
game coming up tomorrow with between the Czechs and the U.S. is just to see, you know, the, the U.S. is a team that's young. They're going to be making mistakes. It's just a matter of if the Czechs can capitalize on a pounce using their trap style defense. It's one of the things I love to talk about on this channel because it's one of the things that allows these European countries to be competitive. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like, you're subscribing, tell all your friends who've come down below your thoughts on day two of the Women's World Championship. Until next time, see ya.